I want to get on to today's main topic, which is the Bitcoin dominance. So what is the Bitcoin dominance? How can you use that to your advantage? The Bitcoin dominance right here, if you guys don't know what I have, if you guys type in Bitcoin dominance on Google, basically Google Images, the first thing that comes up is my guide right here, which is the complete guide to the Bitcoin dominance in all season cycles. So I created this very easy flow chart. Uh, if you guys want to refer to it, it's a very, very friendly, simple chart on how you can interpret the Bitcoin dominance chart without even looking at the movements of how Bitcoin dominance is helping, happening. All you have to do is refer to the chart rather than actually knowing how the price movement action act is actually happening. So if you guys haven't already, please, one more time, uh, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Thank you for joining for those who just joined the channel. Uh, if you guys haven't already, please smash the like button. Uh, I, I do appreciate it. And it's something that I have found that the YouTube, al YouTube algorithms really do take into consideration for uh, gaining, you know, uh, the actual uh, population for YouTube actually uses the al uh, YouTube algorithm for, you know, getting gaining more attention. So it does help the channels, ladies and gentlemen. So getting right into the topic, understanding the the Bitcoin dominance, uh, I'm sure it's not, I'm going to sound like a broken record to a lot of other people, but bear with me. And for the new people who don't know what the Bitcoin dominance is, uh, if you're new to the crypto you know, scene, you may heard of Bitcoin dominance and a lot of people talking about it, but you probably also wondered at the same time what it exactly means, right? So the Bitcoin dominance is basically a measure of how much of the total market cap or you know value in quote unquote of crypto is compromised on Bitcoin. And you know whatever Bitcoin dominance is sitting at, it's a percentage basically. And if you go pull up the Bitcoin dominance chart, like what I'm gonna do right now, you can see uh, the numbers right here, they're correlated as percentages, as percentage points. It's not a number. You can't trade the Bitcoin dominance. Uh, although I think there was a brief time where you could have traded uh, Bitcoin dominance on Binance, as which was very strange. I don't know why that happened, but uh, that's down now. But right now you can see Bitcoin dominance is sitting at a very good, healthy 44%. So that means 44% means, you know, less than half of the total market cap of crypto is in Bitcoin as we speak. So 44% basically uh, taking into account of the whole crypto market cap at the same time. So it's just telling you dominance. What does dominance mean? Dominance is a very simple term. You know, how much of Bitcoin is being dominated within the market, right? Or more simply, if you added up the market cap of all, you know, 10,000 plus coins that aren't Bitcoin, it would still be the less val uh, less than the value of all Bitcoin. And right now, Bitcoin is remaining as king, and I still believe that Bitcoin will remain king for quite some time, and this is going to be a referred chart for the time to uh, come. And one of the main reasons we look at the Bitcoin dominance is because it can help us understand if all coins are in some form of a downtrend or uptrend against Bitcoin. So what does that mean? If the Bitcoin dominance is going up or it increases, all coins may lose value on the BTC value. So what does that mean? If Bitcoin dominance is going up, it doesn't mean that the price is going to be going up, but it just merely means a lot more people are in Bitcoin and focusing on the price action of Bitcoin rather than giving a determinate factor on whether Bitcoin's price is going to be going up or down. A lot of people have one big mistake, which is if the Bitcoin dominance increases, a lot of people assume that the Bitcoin price will also all increase at the same time. Ladies and gentlemen, that's false. What you need to be understanding is if the Bitcoin dominance increases, Bitcoin price can also fall, but at the same time, rise at the same time. So in summary, when the Bitcoin dominance increases, you have to understand all coins at the same time with Bitcoin can either lose value or increase in value. But what about all coins? Now, I've created this very simple chart, like I've said. So there's only two directions the Bitcoin dominance can move, which is increase. And we have a category set here. And then we have the decrease section right here. So if Bitcoin dominance is decreasing, then you want to be looking at the price of Bitcoin, how it's fluctuating. And then you want to be looking at the altcoins right here. And right now, Bitcoin dominance is increasing. So how can we kind of interpret the current situation for the Bitcoin dominance. Well, we have Bitcoin dominance increasing right here, right? So in, just in case, if you guys don't know what Bitcoin, how to look up Bitcoin dominance, you type in BTC.D within the trading view uh, realm of the symbols. Uh, so right now, Bitcoin dominance is increasing. What does that mean? So is Bitcoin increasing or is it decreasing right now? Well, of course, right now, Bitcoin is increasing right now, right? 
and it seems like trading view is lagging this is not a good time for me to lag but right now as you can see bitcoin dominance is or bitcoin's price is also increasing at the same time as you can see here we had a very good flush to the upside but if that what does that mean so that you just basically connect the dots here so if bitcoin dominance or bitcoin dominance is increasing which it is right now and then bitcoin's price is also increasing what does that mean for all coins well it depends right it can decrease but right now decreasing is based on the btc satoshi value because a lot more people are entering bitcoin so if you're and if you look at like for example fbtc let's pull up fbtc it's going down right so that's how you should be looking at the markets, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't mean all coins are going to be, you know, going down. It just merely means a lot more people are de uh, exiting the altcoins and going into Bitcoin because the Bitcoin dominance is increasing. So I hope this kind of uh, helps you guys understand that the Bitcoin dominance, you know, how, how it flows in between each other. So once again, I'm going to summarize it. The Bitcoin dominance, if it's increasing, then... You have to look at how Bitcoin is also reacting. So there's three cases here, right? It's increasing. What is it doing right now? Well, it's increasing in price. So the altcoins, what you should be expecting is should you should see either a decrease or some kind of stability happening within the USD value. However, right now, since it's increasing, the USD value has to increase at the same time, which I don't have another chart of, which I'll be doing a second part to this on how to interpret the USD pair of the altcoins but right now we want to be looking at the satoshi values because it does have an effect on the usd value eventually so right now all coins right now we should be expecting some form of a decrease right now right so look at that we had a very good strong decrease in a 10 percent decrease in the ethereum to the btc value so do you guys understand that the btc value or the satoshi value of an altcoin should be expected of a dip and that's how you should be seeing it and then you should also be seeing how the altcoins are reacting at the same time so as you can see ethereum right now at the same time it's kind of stabilizing but also going up at the same time but the usd value can increase at the same time in due to because people are more bullish on the usd value of these altcoins so what does that mean if we have some kind of a correction right and the btc increases at the same time well this doesn't mean it's a buy signal, ladies and gentlemen. If the USD value is also going up at the same time, while the altcoin of the Satoshi value is decreasing, that doesn't mean it's a buy signal, ladies and gentlemen. It means that you shouldn't be buying any altcoins when the dominance is increasing at any time because there's no factor on, as you can see according to my chart, there's no factor on where the altcoins are going to be increasing, right? It's only decreasing or stabilizing. But right now, you can see when the Bitcoin dominance eventually decreases, this is where you want to be looking for the eventual pump on the altcoins. So how do you buy altcoins when the uh, Bitcoin dominance is increasing? Well, you take it phase by phase. So if you're in this phase right now, like we are right now, if Bitcoin is increasing and the altcoins are decreasing in the Satoshi value, but the USD value is going up, a lot of people will FOMO. However, since the dominance is increasing, we should eventually see some form of a pullback happening on Bitcoin if you take into consideration for pullbacks, right? Right now, there's just a lot of people focusing on Bitcoin, but it can stabilize at the same time, right? So if we can see Bitcoin, you know, f correct. So if it's increasing, what's next? It has to decrease at some point, right? So the Bitcoin value will eventually decrease, but that's where you'll see that decreasing value of the Satoshi value even more. And if Bitcoin, you know, decreases on the USD value, then that means the USD value of all coins have to drop as well. So that's why you have to take into consideration for the Ethereum and Satoshi value at the same time. So if we're looking at a 30% pump, ladies and gentlemen, or 40% pump rather, eventually we should see some form of pullback, or at least that's what I'm expecting, right? A uh, form of an ABC pullback depends, right? But if we have that pullback like we're expecting, for example, this is just for, you know, kind of scenario cases. Let's say that BTC does kind of do that ABC pull, uh, pullback that we're expecting. What does that mean? Bitcoin value goes down, right? If Bitcoin value goes down, would that mean the BTC value is going to increase or decrease? It's, it's up for toss, right? It just depends on strong, how strong of an impulse it is. But if we're expecting a small, you know, kind of, a trickling down type of effect in terms of the price action that means 
we should be seeing the Bitcoin dominance decrease because it doesn't mean that people are buying a lot of Bitcoin, but it doesn't mean that a lot of people are in or, or you know, FOMOing into Bitcoin at the same time. So we should see some form of a decrease within the Bitcoin dominance value as well. So what does that mean? BTC going down, dominance going down, but going up down at the same time, all coins will remain stable. And what does that mean? When Bitcoin, do, uh, uh, when Bitcoin's price action goes up from here, what happens? while the price of the Bitcoin dominance goes down. Right here, ladies and gentlemen, you have that increase in the alt season. So that's how you should be approaching the whole Bitcoin dominance cycle. It's very, it's it's complicated from a kind of a front page perspective, but once you start understanding the flow of it, then this whole thing will come into play. I think this right here, all you need to do is you don't even need to interpret the whole value of what Bitcoin's price is. All you need to do is, is Bitcoin dominance increasing and is Bitcoin price increasing or decreasing? And then, then you can see how strong or forward test it yourself on how altcoins are going to react. And right now we are seeing that kind of decreased value in the altcoin Satoshi value. So what am I expecting down the road for the next few days? Well, if it keeps increasing, the USD value of the BTC will increase, but then the, the BTC Satoshi value will decrease. However, when we have that pullback, that's where I expect kind of a, you know more dump on Bitcoin to ha or the altcoins to happen on the Ethereum value or the BTC value, but at the same time, the USD value at the same time. This is why it's not a buy signal. You should not be getting into Bitcoin or altcoins when Bitcoin is increasing at the same time. Although there's an illusion of an effect that the altcoins will go up on the USD value. So make sure to refer to this. Once the BTC value, BTC dominance value goes down, ladies and gentlemen, that's where you want to be looking for building up more positions for yourself. So uh, what is an instance for the Bitcoin dominance right now? What are, what can we see for the Bitcoin dominance as a whole? Well, you can see we had a very good strong to the upside for Bitcoin dominance. If 7% push to the upside from the 41% to now the 44%. It means that today, a quite heavy, significant onload of of people entering Bitcoin was huge. And I think there's a bit, a lot of different kind of speculation values on what factors have may have caused for Bitcoin to get uh, up in these regions. But I think there was a post where, uh, based on on-chain data, saying that a whale bought up a lot of Bitcoins in the billions and billions of dollars. But again, it's up for grabs. I don't, I don't want to kind of speculate on who and why there's a lot of people entering Bitcoin at the moment. But right now, what we can speculate is on the macro perspective for the Bitcoin dominance, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, we had a humongous drop to the downside, about a 50% in decrease of the Bitcoin dominance value. We went from the 70% range down into the 40% and now even into the 30% range. What does this mean? Well, if we're taking up LA Wave perspective, very shortly, if we're having you know a three wave down right here. We had that very perfect three wave down, fourth wave down, and now we're expecting another kind of a move down here to complete this final fifth wave or the C wave. And that in between that B and the C wave is that final five wave move to the downside, and that's what we're looking for that C wave to be completed, regardless of how choppy this price action may be. So, what does that mean? Eventually, I think down the road. Uh, I, I am very optimistic. Uh, you know, don't quote me on it, but for, for, I have been, you know, predicting it for the past few months on the altcoin season cycle as well. But at the same time, you know, we got to be very careful of the short term price action. And that's why you got to take it from a macro perspective. If you're uh, accumulating altcoins, you want to be accumulating on these kind of pushdowns. And then when it's going up, like I said, that's when you want to kind of set off on you know your altcoin uh, portfolio buildups and then once bitcoin dominance comes back down another 20 percent in value that's going to be a huge run for a lot of altcoins especially the larger cap and i have a lot of large cap altcoins that i believe will be going will have its own run but that's another video in itself however once i do believe that once we do fulfill this final fifth wave or a possible c wave for this larger wxy pattern I do believe when we do decrease in the Bitcoin dominance value and then we see either a decrease or increase, I, we're, we will be in going back and forth from the increase to the decrease in the Bitcoin value. And then once it becomes stable, you can see an increase or a major increase if Bitcoin continues its rise as Bitcoin dominance decreases. So that's the best case scenario. This is the absolute best case scenario where we will see Bitcoin dominance decreasing and then we will see uh, the Bitcoin inc uh, price increase for the USD value, and then we'll see the uh, the the Satoshi value increase at the same time and the USD value increasing at the same time. So that's how you should be approaching the value. 
of the Bitcoin dominance. So in conclusion, when BTC dominance increases, alts on the whole lose BTC value. When the BTC dominance decreases, alts on the whole gain BTC value because a lot of people are entering altcoins. And in the past, this indicator or this whole cycle type of indicator yeah, kind of predicted how those alt season works. And there was really no formation of this kind of cycle. And I was able to form this for you guys in a very easy manner. And if you guys are not understanding this Bitcoin dominance cycle, make sure to refer to this. This is the absolute top post right now on in terms of Bitcoin dominance cycle. And I made it absolutely very, very simple. You don't even need to look at the price of Bitcoin, nor you need to look at the altcoins. You can look at it from an accumulation perspective if you have to. So, uh, you know, this this is pretty much how we're gonna kind of conclude this today's live stream. And I think right now, like I said, on the macro perspective, I'm I'm very optimistic on how, uh, the overall push for the Bitcoin price to also go up since we're bullish on Bitcoin and we also expect all coins to decrease at the same time. I expect Bitcoin to at least stall at some time. And when it does stall, I think that's where. Uh, when we have that small trickling down of Bitcoin's price action, whether we, you know, it's at the sixty thousand dollar, I think that's where we're going to have the major altcoin rally. And I think the altcoin rally is right around the corner, whether it is this final quarter four of two thousand twenty one, or whether it is for you know the quarter one of two thousand twenty two. Just be patient. Uh, I think that we are in a very, very, very strong uptrend for all coins eventually down the road, and especially for the Ethereum BTC values. That's also showing very strong strength, and I think the overall strength of the Bitcoin is very, very going still going very strong because I still believe that we are in some form of a one two being completed or three four being completed, and I think we are eventually going to be going to the upside. Even if we do see some form of pullback, I still believe all coins have their value and i think we will see a major rally in altcoins that uh that will melt faces and you know we'll see values that you guys never even heard of if you think 2018 was a run get ready for this next run that's going to be happening in the next few months or you know possibly within the early of next year of 2022 so I hope this live stream helped you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, very briefly, I've gone over the price action for Bitcoin, and you know what to expect. Uh, but for now, this is what I do expect for all coins. Uh, be patient. Wait for a pullback, possible pullback, because you don't want to be FOMOing in. I know that whole aspect of FOMO, and I do know that feeling of getting, uh, wanting to get into Bitcoin and altcoins because of these USD values. But if you review this whole video, then I, it's just going to be another you know, brain fart for a lot of people. A lot of people have short-term memory, and it's very, very sad because, as you can see, it's playing out just as we expected. You know, some alts are, you know, decreasing, some alts are increasing, but we're not seeing a major altcoin rally because Bitcoin's also increasing because of that Satoshi value is also decreasing at the same time. So I hope this live stream helped you in terms of how to interpret the Bitcoin dominance. I'll have an official video on how to interpret the Bitcoin dominance, a little bit better explained in instead of this improv uh, explanation so i hope you guys have the rest of the fantastic week i'll have another live stream tomorrow on friday for some and in two days for uh, a few other people so ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for joining i'll see you guys in the next video thank you very much